our mission, there are a lot of missions here, but is to really engage our youth in global citizenship, to get different lenses, geographic, economic, political, cultural, and ethical lenses, and really to see the lens of humanity. We're here not only to work and bring fresh water to women and allow women to get the equal opportunity that they deserve, but for our youth in the United States and around to see how important it is for us to work as one. That's what life is about, and getting dirty in the process is a lot of fun, and it's just an incredible honor to get to know the people of Nepal, to work with the girls, to work shoulder to shoulder together, and uh, just to see, uh, to me, I think every youth in the world should be here and do this. Uh, thank you. Upon your arrival in Kathmandu Airport, the small world will welcome and greet you offering traditional white scarf khada. 20 minute drive from here uh, in the Bodhnath Stupa, which is the very close uh, within the monastery, Sechen Monastery is a very, very beautiful and uh, with the very close of the one of the old heritage sites, Bodhnath Stupa. First part of our program, you will visit important sites in of Nepal like Bodhanath Stupa, Patan Darbar Square, Kathmandu Darbar Square, Swembu Nath, the Monkey Temple, Pasupati Nath. These are some of the most ritual and cultural significant world heritage sites recognized by UNESCO. Our journey of making a difference begins with a short memorable flight to the airstrip at Faplu with an unforgettable adventure through some of the most remote inhabited valleys on earth. This two weeks volunteer service is an extremely unique opportunity to experience a side of rural Nepal that only a handful of foreigners have ever reached. Here, you will witness both the groundbreaking work of the small world, incredible hospitality of the local community members, having homestay in local family, visiting monasteries will give you life-changing experience. And most importantly, you will be engaging in locally driven sustainable community development projects such as making drinking water, building schools, girls' hostel for higher education, etc. We seek to provide you with a glimpse of both the beauty and the reality of rural life in Nepal that cannot be found anywhere else. It's, it's very interesting and I'm very excited. I'm sure it'll taste very good. <laughs> okay, so we were making dalbat with our host family and we pe um, shelled peas and we, pe we peeled potatoes and then um, put rice on the fire. And it's a neat experience because I've never made this food before and we can go home and make it for our family, which will be exciting. Unala bad po kana si ka unta chiu. Ah, ra unala puni khushi khushi san ne. Unala lai justo je dinari khai din chan khushi mani ra unala ro ram ramle sanga pasan. My name is Warren, or my Sherpa name is Pimba, and uh, being with the host family has been great so far. We've learned a lot about the language and the culture, and we got to cook tonight, which was awesome because you get to see how different it is from our gas stoves, automatic cooking things and all of that, you know, you really have to get down there and do it yourself. And um, we cooked Sherpa stew and that involved like you made the flat bread and put it in and stirred it and everything. Um, and it's a lot more work than back home having to do it, you know, everything does it for you. Uh, it's a great experience. Uh, this is Eknam Mito, absolutely delicious. And the good news is that we helped cook it 
yeah. with our our satis and yeah, and our family and um, absolutely delicious. It's so good, very hearty after a long day of work. It's delicious. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> <laughs> This is my first time in Nepal and I have been absolutely amazed by the hospitality of the people here. I've been to several places around the world and the Nepalese people are by far the nicest, kindest, good-hearted people I've ever met. Um, we, we were here with a bunch of our students and they took us up to a mountain which was a hard hike and a few of us wanted to give up a couple of times but they got us all up the mountain and, and cooked us this amazing picnic and we all sat together in a, in a big circle and, and sang and danced and shared stories and, and realized that we all had this human experience um, on top of this mountain together even though we were separated by a half a world. The, the work site that we're at um, was hard work. A lot of us have not done manual labor before, so taking axes and shovels and digging a trench from a top of a hill down to the village to have a water source for the, for the hostel was, was tough. I came home several times quite sore. I think I'm still pretty sore right now. Um, but it was, it was so rewarding to see everybody work so hard and be so happy about, about it. I, I can't possibly thank the Nepali people for, for everything they've given me. Um, there's no way that we could give, give to them what, what they've given us. And I want to thank everybody here for the, one of the most amazing experiences of my lifetime. Game is finished. More following the track of the the or the political parties, but what he is so saying is that if the if all the pol the sister organizations are some who are the leading uh, students politics are uh, uh, continue on that track that track, then there is a no more uh, future of the the young uh, political leaders of Nepal. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I am helping the small world with um, building a trench for clean drinking water for the girls down at the Girls Empowerment Project. And we are making it deeper so that it's safer and lasts longer. We're getting a little dirty, but we're having fun using teamwork. So it's good, we're, we're finally getting the work done. It feels good. I feel great, a little sore from all this work, but it's very fun. 
Um, this is our sixth day here, second day working on this pipe. It's a lot harder today because it's all dry. Yesterday we got all muddy, but we're getting there. It's awesome. And so it's just so astounding to me that we're given this opportunity and everyone should take advantage of it. And already we've been here for four or five days and already I've been seeing my life being changed. Uh, last summer when my mom actually told me that I should go on one of the trips but I didn't have enough time for during my summer and then all throughout this year I've been talking to Mr. Gray or Ryan and Bob Bandoni about the trips and um, one of the upperclassmen had told me that the Nepal trip was probably the most fun time he's had and so I definitely decided to come on this trip because of him and um, like he said, it's just amazing to be here, building the water pipe, actually doing the work. It uh, makes you feel really good about yourself, and um, it's a great time. Hast du I'm Juliana Riquetta, I'm 17 years old and I'm from Austin, Texas. It's awesome seeing them working every day and loving life, just loving everything they do. They even love to work and they actually take their time doing things and they take the time to enjoy things. Um, I guess I'll talk about the hostel too. Um, the hostel is a lot of fun, the girls were so sweet, they're really nice. My name is Nathan Mashad, I'm a teacher from Austin, Texas. And this is my first time in Nepal. I'm here with 15 students and one of my coworkers. And I want to talk about the experience of being here. Um, it's certainly been one of the most challenging experiences of my life. Um, to be really pushed out of my norms in terms of how I live. Um, and it's been very rewarding uh, to watch my students realize that there's not just one way of life in the world. Um, that the world is a really big place. And seeing all of my students adopt the Nepalese lifestyle taking their time to do things, enjoying the day, and really enjoying the relationships um, with the people around them has been really incredibly rewarding. The work has been hard, um, and I think that in the end, we've given a little bit to the village here in Solokumbu. Namaste, Meronam Ryan Ho, and I'm here at the, in beautiful salary, the Women's Empowerment Hostel and I'm here to ask a few questions. So, um, May, if you're so kind, tell us your name. Hello. My name is Pema Rindisherba. My name is uh, Mamita Magar. I like reading and playing volleyball and making new friends. Namaste, my name is Pasi Serpa. I'm, I, I come from Taksin D8 Ringwa. I want to be a good teacher in the future. Good morning, my name is uh, Mina Mogor. <coughs> I come from uh, Kirung Sat Angbang. <coughs> Namaste, my <coughs> name is Dilgwari Rai. I want to be a good science teacher. My father is a uh, farmer, my mother is a farmer. I want to be a uh, good teacher. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Th these are the girls, special girls. And we're honored to be here. And thank you so much. Danyabad.